push-ups, then 200 more sit-ups, then 100 slap shots, then wind sprints. We're not stopping today until you can't stand up and your hands are bleeding. The U.S. team is depending a little bit too much now on Jim Craig. He's making too many good saves. Arruzzioni! Yes! Mike Arruzzioni! Now we've got Bedlam. Oh, I love Brooks' reaction. The excitement, the tension building. The Olympic Center filling to capacity. Ever the since I can remember, I've always been a rebel. And being a rebel can cost you greatly. I found out the hard way when I was 18 years old. See, back in 1980, a ragtag bunch of college kids upset the mighty Soviet Union in ice hockey at the Olympic Games in Lake Placid. I was a member of that team. But you've never heard of me, because three days before the Games began, I made the biggest mistake of my life. I think it's time. Go on. Go talk to your dad. It's just not time yet. Quit beating yourself up. You were 18 years old, Steven. I know, but I disappointed him so much. I keep thinking how different my life would be if I would have never quit that team. God, my dad used to love to come and watch me play hockey. Every weekend he'd be there, go to tournaments. He spent all his money on my equipment. Every time I'd score a goal, I'd tap my heart twice and point to him. God, he loved that. Come on, it's cold. Let's go inside. You go ahead, I'm gonna stay out here for a little bit and then I'm gonna go get a skate in and do some soul searching, some thinking. Hey, Coach Brooks. I, uh, I really need to talk to you. I'm going home today. I've skated and played hockey and trained every day of my life since I was four years old, and I just can't take it anymore. I've had enough. But I appreciate everything you've done for me, and it was an honor to be chosen by you to play for my country. I know I'm going to be disappointing you, but I feel like this is the best thing for me in my life right now. Good luck. Bring home the gold medal. Dude, what are you doing out here? You're terrible. You just got to go. No one wants you out here. Hey, what are you doing? This pond is for recreation, not verbally abusing kids. What are you going to do, old man? Oh man, how about me and the kid and him against the rest of you guys, we'll play a little game. The guy who can't skate, you're old, and we've all been playing high level hockey our whole life. Let's see, I see one, two, three against ten. You better get some more players and make it even. Looks like we got a game then. We got a game. Let's drop the puck. Hey, mister. Oh. Uh, hate to break it to you, but I suck. And they don't. We're gonna get killed out there. You know what, dude? Don't worry about it. Just give me the puck. I played some hockey in my day. Put that jersey on. It might help us. All right. What college are you going to? 
I should call your college coach and tell him that a 47 year old guy just kicked your butt. I hope you learned two things today. Don't judge a book by its cover and respect your elders. Yes, sir. You did great out there today. You got some serious skill. Thanks, man. I did play college hockey and I uh, made the 1980 Olympic hockey team, so. I'm Steve, by the way. I'm Jay. Jay, good to meet you. You live around here? Oh, uh, yeah, I live right over there. Oh, I'm practically your neighbor. I'm right here. Oh, nice, man. Hey, thanks for being my teammate today. I appreciate it. Oh, no, thank you. You saved me up there, man. Hey, you know what? You'll get better. Just keep coming out and practicing. Good luck, man. You too. I'll see you around. So what are your thoughts? Do you want to do anything special tonight? Thought maybe just get some wine and, I don't know, just hang out tonight. Hey, Steven! It's me again! Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm really excited right now. When I looked you up last night online, I would realized that you were like a celebrity in the 80s. Well, the key word there is a uh, long time ago. At least I have uh, one more fan, huh? Um, so anyway, as I was looking you up yesterday, I figured out that there was like an, a senior Olympic hockey game going on right before the actual Olympics. It's going to be in two months, and I think this is a perfect opportunity for you to make your comeback. Wow. You got me thinking. Tryouts are in two months. We can start training tomorrow. Be at the pond at 12. <laughs> oh no. You are not leaving me to go play in some old man hockey game? Are you kidding me, Steven? Come on, you could get hurt, and then what? Hey, is this your dream or your dad's dream? Look, since I was three years old, I've always wanted to put on a USA hockey jersey with my name on the back. Now this is my chance. Not only do I get a chance to play for my country, but I can make amends with my father. This is the perfect scenario. I gotta do this. Listen, if you leave, we might as well just say goodbye now. I've been through this far too many times with you. If there was something that you wanted to do in life, I would totally support you. Why can't you support me? I wanna go do this. I wanna play for my country. I wanna put on a USA hockey jersey and I want you to be there with me. If you leave, I leave you. <sighs> then if you're not gonna support me, I think you should just leave now. What are you doing home? You're supposed to be in Lake Placid. I'm sorry, Dad. I quit the Olympic team today. You quit the Olympic team? I've been training you for years. I spent thousands of dollars on your hockey career. Tons of time and energy. For what? For you to just walk away? Do you know how many guys never got the chance to play for their country? Hey. Hey. So. I've made a decision, and I want to do this. Awesome. But I do have a few rules. Rule number one is I want you to do this for the enjoyment of hockey, so I'm not going to pay you, OK? Rule number two is I already play hockey twice a week, so I want to start out really slow so I don't burn myself out for the tryout. All right. OK. And you can feel free to wear my Olympic hockey jersey anytime you're training me. Just one question though, um, what happened in 1980? Nobody would walk away from an opportunity like that. Let's look forward, okay? We got some training to do. What do you want to do first? Uh, how about we just start off with some wind sprints and push-ups? Have a good start. All right, sounds good, buddy. Right. Let's go. So how many push-ups do you think this old body can do anyway? Can you at least give me 25? 25?
get it for me? Three. Ah. Hey, you got it. You got it. Uh. Okay, what's next? It's a little tight today, buddy. Yeah, I can tell. Uh. You good? Yep, hold me tight. Yep. Stretch out the calf there a little bit. Uh. Uh. It's all bones. It's yeah, I can flip, tell. Flip legs. All right. Got it. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, man. Hey, buddy. Hey, would you mind too awfully much if we uh, just took tonight off? I am flat out exhausted. I mean, we've been going at it for a couple days now, and my old knees and back just can't take it. I understand. You've been working really hard. It was a great training session today. You really pushed me. Thank you. No problem, man. So, we haven't talked about our personal life much. Not really. You got a dad? Oh, yeah. You doing me a favor? Of course. If he tells you to go to bed early, we go to bed early. If he tells you to do your homework, do you do your homework? Yeah. And for me, will you tell him that you love him every day? Sure. Something I've been meaning to tell you, and I haven't told anybody else. But there's another reason why I quit the 1980 Olympic team. When I was in high school and college, I scored double the points of any of my teammates. People would drive two, three, four hundred miles to see me play. When I jumped over the boards for a shift, people would stand. And then when I got to Lake Placid in 1980, I was no longer the best player on that team. I was maybe a third, fourth liner, and I knew it. It killed my ego. I couldn't take it and I quit. And I think when I quit, I think my dad committed suicide because of it. And that's something that um, I'm going to have to live with the rest of my life. I actually, uh, I actually buried his ashes right over in my backyard. So, now I told you. Steve, just because we fall, lose our way, it doesn't mean we can't get back up. That's true. That's true. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's time for me to get back up.
That's it, little buddy. Training's over. I leave tomorrow. That's crazy. You gonna watch a tournament on TV? Of course, man. I'm gonna have the best seat in the house. Just do one favor for me, though. Talk to your dad before you go. I'm sure he'd love to hear from you. Do me a favor, will you? Yep. Come by my house tomorrow. I got something for you. Oh, is it your jersey? <laughs> Maybe. Just come by. I got something for you, okay? How about for old time's sake? 20 push-ups and 10 wind sprints. <laughs> oh, my God. You're killing me. <laughs> I'm leaving tomorrow. Exactly. You know what? For you, I'll do it. Is that Jay? 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 So we heard that you're leaving today for your uh, your tryout, and we made you the sign for good luck. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. I'll uh, I'll put it in my window. But I don't see Jay anywhere. Jay who? You guys don't know Jay? Hi. I was just looking for Jay. I wanted to say goodbye. Um, can you hold on just a sec? Sure. Hey. Hi, I'm Steve. Um, I was just looking for Jay. I wanted to say goodbye and I have something for him. Okay. What's your name? I'm Steve. Okay. Yeah, Steve, our son Jay, uh, he died about 10 years ago on the pond. He did? That's impossible. I've been with him for the last seven weeks. We've been training on the pond. Huh. Yeah, if you could just please respect our privacy. Sure. Thanks. Hey, Steve, you want yeah. to come in here a moment? We have something to show you. Sure. Right in here. Yeah, so we just wanted to show you Jay's room. And this is, uh, this is kind of the way he had it and the way we left it 10 years ago. Oh, he really did like hockey. He really, really loved this jersey. And I promised him I'd give it to him one day. Would you guys mind if I left it? Then? No, not at all. Okay. Sure, Steve, that would be fine, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna miss you, little buddy. Thanks for everything. Yeah? I wanted to thank you. You want to thank me? For what? For being so nice to my brother. But Jay was nice to me. Because of him, I get to go fulfill my childhood dream today. Here, he'd want you to have this. That's a great picture of him. Can I keep it? You sure? Thank you so much. You gonna watch, watch that watch tournament, that on, tournament TV? on TV? One of the best, best in the house, man.
talk to your dad before you go. I'm sure he'd love to hear from you. Hello, Dad. It's been a long time. I haven't had the courage to come and talk to you because I was so ashamed. But a little friend encouraged me to come and talk to you today. So I took his advice. First off, Dad, I want to apologize for quitting the 19A Olympic hockey team. You worked so hard to get me on that team. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Everyone thought that I quit because I was a rebel, and that's partially true. But the other part is, Dad, is that in high school, I was a superstar. In college, I was a superstar. And when I got to Lake Placid in 1980, I wasn't the best player anymore. I was probably the fifth or sixth or seventh best player on that team. That destroyed my ego. I couldn't take it. I had to walk away. So now you know. Again, Dad, I appreciate everything you've done for me. And I'm, from the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry. Your son, Steve. Don't you want to represent this great country of ours? 